All right. So we are going to be talking about why this list is the most popular reoccurring investments right now. And I think this is probably pretty consistent across the board uh, when it comes to brokerage accounts. So number one on the list is Apple and Apple it has been one of the most valuable stocks of all time. Uh, as of recent, Apple has given us a, a big opportunity to make reoccurring, reoccurring investments on it because it hasn't moved like the rest of the market has moved. It hasn't moved like the rest of the tech space has moved over the last year. And so we all know when Apple gets this run, it's going to be massive. So uh, I can see why that would be the number one reoccurring stock. So looking at it year to date, I mean, it's down 2% over one year. It's still up 20%, but it's still not necessarily near its all-time high. So that lets me know that we have a lot of climbing that we can do. So scrolling down towards the bottom, you can see they have that $2.81 trillion market cap. At one point, it was a little over $3 trillion. Uh, PE ratio is looking good. Dividend is okay. But it's more about the, val the value of the stock and um, not necessarily the dividend play on it. Okay, so Apple is number one. Um, this is a very, very good opportunity to get in on it right now. The, the, the stock is on sale. It's cheap. So get in, you know, while you can. Again, you don't have to buy an entire stock. If all you have is $5 a day, you can put that in there. I mean, most people spend $20 uh, on a meal a day just going out to eat some people do that three times a day that's sixty dollars so even if you chop that in half let's say you put thirty dollars a day in you know you're you're going to be off to some some great wealth building opportunities all right so next on the list we have tesla okay and i got had this free shares because somebody clicked on on the link and signed up so they gave me five dollars there um and also my long-term holds are going to be in in different brokerage accounts this one is more of a swing trading account for me so tesla is a great opportunity as well uh over the last month or two tesla has been on a downward trend so you can see it's down about 14 percent um and kind of like apple um and, and it has its own set of problems too you know possibly what elon musk is going through also you factor in uh we have model wise they're starting to reduce the price on it and then the, the last earnings report i don't think came in overall great or what the uh market was expecting it to do so if we look it looks like yeah the the earnings per share were okay but i don't think the revenue was as good as uh investors intended on it to be so again that caused the uh the stock to fall and so we have a a, a great opportunity to go ahead and, and buy in we can see the all-time high is 407 right now we're at 199 so you can see we have an opportunity to to make up for at least 100 percent of the ground of where we are now and i'll and that's why i can also see why this would be in the top of reoccurring uh, uh stocks on the list here okay so next on the list, we have Vanguard S&P. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We just talked about a video about VOO and SPY. Uh, VOO with the S&P 100 real quick has primarily been used for longer term holds uh, when it comes to following the S&P 100. The SPY is also used for that too, but the SPY is used for much more day trading, swing trading, so forth and so on. Now, Amazon 
is next on the list. Uh, always a good opportunity to get on, on this one. Now, this one typically moves a little bit later than a lot of the quicker moving tech stocks. But when it moves, it really moves. So if we look at the one year, we're up about 72%. And I do remember when this thing was down to maybe nearly like 80 or high 70s and nobody was buying it because they were scared. But that was the time to be buying in when it was extremely low, when it was on, on, on sale to something that it probably will never go again. Uh, you can never say never, but I'm willing to bet it probably won't go that low again. Next, if we look at the five year, yeah, we're... We're doing all right. We're doing all right. So let's scroll down. I know they usually have a pretty high PE ratio, so that's a little on the high side. But again, it's all about the the value of the stock. Okay. So looking at their earnings, the last time, I mean, they outperformed that thing by by a mile. So we're looking pretty good there, and that's one of the reasons why this stock has taken off over the last year. So this is one that I would dollar cost average in no matter what the price is on it. Um, so, yeah, even if it would have been this high, I would start, you know, putting a dollar a day or five dollars a day or something like that. And then as the stock comes down, because it's going to cool off at some point, then I would go a little bit heavier, you know, maybe twenty dollars a day or something like that. OK, next we have one of my favorites. Um, we have one of my favorites, which is Microsoft. So this thing has virtually outperformed most stocks except uh, NVIDIA over the last year or so. Um, it's got a market cap bigger than Microsoft, uh, bigger than Apple's, I'm sorry, at the moment. Uh, usually Apple is number one when it comes to market cap, but Microsoft has taken over Um especially when it comes to what they're going to be doing with with ia and other products related to that also you got the xbox and you know new um new ventures coming out with with xbox but microsoft over the last year is up is up 55 percent um i remember when this thing came down pretty low too not long ago but yeah, over the past year, it's up nearly 300%. Uh, it's near its all-time highs. And so this is another one you can't go wrong uh, with dollar cross averaging no matter where it is. So just remember, if it's high, you want to do little bits at a time. And then as the stock comes down, then you can go a little bit heavier on your investment. Okay, so let's look a little bit at the numbers here. Pretty decent PEO ratio. Yeah, you're getting a decent uh, dividend yield there. Um, so in the last earnings, it came in kind of about, you know, ex what was expected. Um, so, yeah, overall, this stock is is doing pretty good. Experts are still having it at a 90% buy right now i don't know if i agree with that but you know that's according to 51 experts ratings um 3.9 percent hold and then zero percent sale so that shows you the value that uh microsoft has with that 90 six um buy rating even with the stock being as high as it is right now so we got some pretty pretty bullish uh, experts on Microsoft right now and when we look at the upward momentum I can understand why but just be careful next we have Vanguard uh, total stock market ETF VTF we spoke about that um, in a previous video after that you have QQQ we spoke about that as well uh, Google, we haven't spoken about that one. Google um, is is doing pretty well. So again, this is another one of the, the slower moving ones. It kind of lags a little bit behind the quicker moving ones like uh, typically Tesla 
uh, obviously you got NVIDIA um, and some of the other quick moving stocks, but Alphabet has been a pretty solid uh, investment over the last year. It's up nearly 50%. Uh, this is one of those stocks that are uh, is pretty steady. You know, when it makes a move up, it pretty much stays there unless something drastic happens. Uh, also with, with Google, we know that they have uh, AI innovations that are in the making as well. So pretty much any stock that uh, is geared towards AI or chips or something like that uh, are gonna be doing pretty well right now. Okay, so they got a 24.23 PE ratio, and that's that's pretty darn good there. All right, let's see, 79 percent buy. I, I can count. I can see that. Uh, 21 percent hold, zero percent sell. Okay, and so this bull says as the number of online users and usage increase, so will the digital ad spending. Uh, with, of which Google will remain, remain one of the main beneficiaries. I, I can agree with that. So that's one of the main reasons I can see why a lot of experts are, are bullish on that. Okay. The last earnings per share came in pretty nicely, pretty much about on target. I mean, a little bit better, but pretty much right on target. All right. So we'll do one more. NVIDIA, I'm sure you guys all know what that is. I think we've spoken about that one in a pre... Nah, well, maybe it was like several videos ago. So we'll do this one last. So NVIDIA, are you guys ready for this? Over the last year, is up 236%. That is insane. I mean, that's insane. Look at this, 206, and it just, I mean, that was like a year, yeah, a year ago. That's just crazy. Five years out, you're up almost 2,000%. So this thing was at one point was $36. And had you had that, I mean, <laughs> you talking about what, 20X in your money or something like that? That is crazy. All right, so in the video, you guys know, it's big in the chips, big in the AI. Recently, they've bought out uh, a handful of their competition, which I can't really say was competition, but that's what a lot of companies do when they take off and, and start doing really good. They start buying everyone out that has really good innovation and good um, you know, ideas and bring them into uh, their sphere, okay? Now, that P-E ratio is ridiculous, so that tells me this thing is severely overbought, no dividends on, on it, really. Um, you just pretty much focus on, on the movement, okay? 93 92, eh, I don't know, 93% buy. 7% hold, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think this sucker is uh, pretty overbought in my opinion, okay? So one thing to note is they have their February, they have earnings coming out February 21st, which is in four days. Uh, they're looking at an estimate of 4.53%. Uh, if I was to get in on this play before earnings, let's say that I thought that it was a possibility it would go up, I probably would buy the stock outright, put a stop loss on it, um, and I probably would put a stop loss on it probably, let's look at this thing, yeah, maybe up in here, eh, what was this, For, yeah, yeah, maybe about, I don't know. That's a nice chunk of money. Uh, six ten. I probably. I mean, I would be cautious with this. This is what I would do. I would do. I probably would buy a half a share of Nvidia 
and then put a stop loss on and so right now it's at 727 because when it comes down it's gonna come quick i'll put one on about here maybe about 660 as a stop loss if, if i were going to be getting into this play before uh earnings um also if i i mean ideally i would just wait to after the uh earnings come in and if it drops substantially you know maybe wait a couple days then i would start to you know buy a little bit of it but overall if, if you're a beginner I would stay away from this thing uh, for now, unless you're just going to be dollar cost averaging a little bit at a time. So that's what I got. So hopefully you guys can see why these are some of the uh, top uh, most popular reoccurring investments. And until the next video, we are guys. Peace.